Welcome back to my little video series about Fancy Menu. Today's video will just be a little update to a previous video. It was called Export and Share Layouts, I think. Because, yeah, something changed. I finally decided to implement a feature that's called Setup Sharing. And yeah, as the name says, you can finally share layouts, uh, setups, your whole setup, not just layouts, in a user-friendly way, easy and user-friendly way. And yeah, so I decided to set this old video to private and just make a updated one. So now if you want to export your whole setup, this means your fancy menu config, your layouts, all um, of your valid animations in your, uh, in your fancy menu setup and all the resources you've used in your layouts and in the config, for example, the splash text file or something, you just need to click on setup, export, and confirm this. Give it a fancy name. And click on done. Now you can open the folder where your setup got exported to. And yeah. So here we have our setup now. And this contains a setup.properties uh, file. This, yeah, it's nothing you you should even try to to change. Just just ignore this. Um, yeah, and here are your uh, your resources you've used in your layouts. In my case, this was at the root directory of the Minecraft instance, so it got exported to yeah the root of your setup. And when we go to config, fancy menu now, we see our whole setup. Panoramas, resources, yeah, I don't know what this one is. Okay, other resources I've used or not used, I don't know. J just ignore this. Um, config, customize Apple menus, this is when you click on this thing here. So it basically exports everything. So now if we want to import this setup again, um, I, just, I just cleaned my my uh, instance a bit so you can actually see that something gets imported um, to import a setup you just need to click on well that's better so that's that's the setup I just exported it's in the default export directory so we can just use setup import choose from saved setups yeah and now we can see our fancy setup here this is the one I exported before you can see uh, when it get export when it got exp exported uh, what version you've used what fancy menu version which mod loader and so on so now we want to export this we click on this and click on choose now it tells me that some of the menu identifiers are invalid this happens because I probably have some old layouts somewhere that have um, menu identifiers that this instance can't find because yeah it's probably from an older version or maybe from fabric or something I don't know we just click on confirm and fancy menu will automatically try to fix these identifiers confirm and yeah um, if you try to uh, import a setup from a uh, an older version of Minecraft or something you will see a warning here that this could probably um, cause issues because yeah, buttons can change from version to version and this would, for example, make button um, customizations incompatible with this new version. But yeah, just try this. So click on confirm or click on uh, accept or something, what, whatever it's called, and see if your um, imported setup works or not. You know this the best, so yeah, just, just try it. I click on accept now and now I have my full layout again or my full setup again I exported before and yeah um, this as you just saw with the invalid identifiers thing um, this even works if you try to import a layout or a setup from an older version so this is the best way to make um, outdated setups fully compatible or fully fully um, up to date with the new versions you still manually need to fix errors in your layouts because of changed buttons as I said 
But yeah. Um, if you have a setup that's not in your exported setups, so a layout you not exported by yourself, you download it from somewhere or something, um, you just need the path to the root of your setup. In this case, that's the fancy setup folder. I will now just copy this whole folder um, path and click on setup again, import and enter path to setup. Uh, so now I can use the path instead and click on done. Click on confirm again, and accept. And now I have the menu again. <laughs> It's the same menu because yeah you know it's the same setup so for example if you have this setup here instead of the exported setups folder you can you need this path uh, it's the easiest way to just open the folder on windows and click here and copy it setup import path confirm done this is how you easily export and import setups Another cool thing about the setup sharing function is that every time you import a setup, Fancy Menu will automatically make a backup from before you imported this. And if something's wrong with this new setup or something's not looking as you expected it, you can just restore a backup from before. It's with timestamps, so just search for the right one. And yeah, this should be relatively fail safe, but just to be safe, always make a manual backup of your setup or even better, a backup of your whole um, Minecraft directory before you import a setup because this whole function is, uh, is still in an experimental state and I don't uh, want your setups or your installations to get lost. So yeah, just, just make a... Um, Back up to be safe, yeah. So this is basically everything you need to know about um, sharing setups now. It's much easier now, I know, but yeah. I hope this was at least a bit helpful and yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.